Good morning everyone, Hunter family here. It's been a while since we've posted anything. Uh, today I thought about cooking some ribs and just uh, showing you what I do. Uh, started off this morning, I got two racks of ribs we're gonna throw on the grill, probably, probably some chicken too. I'll do that if, if I decide to do that. I'll show you this video as well. But I've already trimmed up the ribs. Let me flip it around, I'll let you see. Uh, just had them down here, kind of getting up to room temp before I throw them on the smoker here in a minute. Uh, got them trimmed up, got the membrane off the back, all that good stuff. Uh, got them coated in my seasoning, uh, which is just some everyday spices and uh, a little brown sugar, a little granulated sugar, all that. I don't do any, uh, here's my smoker I use. Uh, I use the old country barbecue pits, uh, the Pecos. It's been great for me. Uh, right now we're gonna be smoking with a little bit of cherry uh, for these ribs. Oh, my grill here, we're running about 225 and she's holding. It's got good smoke flow, no nastiness coming through. As you see, it's running real nice, good and clear. That's what we want. Um, so let's get these ribs on there and uh, let's get this thing going. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes since we put the uh, pork on. Um, I just checked the temperatures and we're running at 250, which is perfect uh, for where I want to be at today. I want to be around 250, maybe 275. Uh, I'm not really in a hurry today, so if it gets down to 225, no big deal. Anywhere between 225 and 260 will be fine. There again, I want to just say I am not a professional by any means. I'm just a home cook doing what I love to do. Uh, and I put out some pretty mean tasting meat. So uh, there we go. So I basically just back to, I get sidetracked a little bit. So we're going back and just check the fire box. Uh, the wood I had originally on here has already started to burn out, burn down. Uh, did see my temperature dip just a little bit. So I had another uh, log on there, another stick and uh, temperatures recovered. We're back still, like I said, holding at 250, perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna check my meat at this moment. I uh, wanted to cook always remember the old saying if you're looking you ain't cooking so, uh, so anyways we're gonna get back in 45 minutes we will check basically for tenderness I want to see color if it's starting to get that dark nice rich color I'm looking for then I'll probably pull them off and um, we'll go through the wrapping process I will show you that should have showed you uh, me trimming everything and pulling the membrane off and seasoning it this morning but I really didn't think I was going to film. It was kind of a last minute thing. I'm like, ah, you know, I haven't filmed nothing. It's been the holiday season and everything. And, uh, you know, we really uh, hadn't posted anything because it's just been busy. You know how it gets. It's the holidays, right? All right. Uh, we're just about an hour and a half into the cook. Uh, temperatures dropped down to about 225. So I'm going to check the firebox real quick. this bad boy will poke around. Looks like my stick is about burnt out. So I'll add another piece of cherry. And um, I know I didn't sit to show you all this starting out, but I always start with a full chimney of charcoal as my base, get my fire started. And then I'll usually burn a couple of sticks. I, this morning I used oak just to get a good coal base, get that good hot and ready. And um, I usually do two sticks at a time. One stick is like a base stick, uh, and then I'll have one kind of propped up on it at an angle because fire likes to climb up. Let me show you. I'll show you that real quick. But yeah, there's my fire, and you can see. In the firebox, I have one stick right over here. It's kind of just like a, a base. And when that one burns down, I'll move the one that's up at an angle over to that one and put a fresh stick on top. And I'll just kind of keep that going the whole time. And as you see, it starts very easy when you do it that way. Um, let's go ahead and shut this box up. See, yeah, we were creeping right about 225. Uh, but it's about to drop because we're going to do our first check. Um, so one thing I forgot was to bring out my apple cider vinegar mix. So hold on one second. Let me run in and get that, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I went in, got my apple cider. As you see, I didn't make a lot. I made about three ounces. I did an ounce and a half of water, ounce and a half of apple cider. I don't use much. Uh, with the water uh, trough in there, uh, the water bed, whatever you want to call it, a uh, pan of water, it keeps it pretty moist. So we're not going to use much, and I don't want to make a lot and waste it. And, you know, so I just made this, and if I need more, I'll make more. So uh, let's open up the, the smoker. And let's check these bad boys out. And I'll bring you over for the view as well. So here's our first check. And as you can see, they're looking very, very good. Uh, they're starting to dry out a little bit, but there is still a lot of moisture in there. The sun's really bright. So let's just... Uh, Give them a good little coat of some apple cider water mix. Just to mix them nice and moist. That's probably all it's going to take right there, fellas. Our uh, water pan still got a lot of water in it. It's about half. And I've got it right over here on the heat side so it can, you know, simmer. And you can. Maybe you can see it kind of boiling. Well, not a bowl, but like a little small simmer, and there's some steam coming off of it. That's what you want. So we're going to shut this bad boy up. This is going to be our last check for right now. We're going to let it go. Like I said, we're an hour and a half into the cook. Probably another 30 to 45 minutes. I may go on the more of the 45-minute mark. So in about 45 minutes, we'll come out here. We'll check it. That'll put us about two and a half hours into the, the cook here. And we'll, we'll check them for tenderness and see what the temperature and all that stuff looks like. And uh, they, they're looking good, starting to bend a little bit. Then it's probably going to be time to wrap. So All right, we are... It's been about 30 minutes, so we're two hours into the smoke now. Uh, temperature's just dropped off. I just added another, another stick to bring that back up. That's why the smoke's like it is. So it's trying to heat up and do its thing. At this point, I'm just going to open this up. It's a good time to check. I'll bring you over here. Yeah, check it out. Ribs are looking good. Um, kind of drying out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and grab my little squeeze bottle here. Uh, squirt her down a little bit. Keep those nice and moist. All right, uh, it's been 35 minutes or so since our last check-in. Maybe almost 40 minutes. So we're about two hours and a half, two hours, 45 minutes into this. Um, temperature's still holding good at 250. Uh, I'm going to check the firebox here in a second, but I want to check the ribs first. Uh, see how they're doing, how they're looking, see if we need to pull them. Whoa, <laughs> I'm about feeling them. All right, uh, let's come on over here. Looking at those guys, those are looking like what we want the ribs to look like. We're starting to see some pullback on the bones there, the meat shrinking up, uh, doing its thing. Uh, it's getting kind of tender. Uh, it's almost tear apart. It's getting a little flimsy. So I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pull these off, set the camera up inside, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So hang tight. Okay, guys, we're inside. And as you can see, I've got, uh, got two pieces of aluminum foil kind of together, like this. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring let's bring this rib over here. You see how it's already got that good bend in it. It's very nice. I'm going to flip it over. We'll start on this side. And parquet butter. I'm going to give it a good little squirt down it. Got some uh, golden blossom honey. You can see that. And we're just going to be very generous with this guy. Just uh, give him a good coat. Just like so. And we got some dark brown sugar. And you can use light brown sugar if that's what you want. I've got dark brown. Holidays, so making pies and candies and all that stuff. That's just what we have. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there, and I'm just gonna rub it in. I'm gonna get every little thing covered. That's gonna make like a little paste. You don't have to be too extreme with this, but 
to give it a nice little massage in there. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, butter. Some people really don't think you have to do this or don't want to. I like it because really it kind of makes this candy crust on top. And all around it, it's just so once I take it outside later or after this is done and we unwrap it, I do, I make a little barbecue sauce and I glaze it with it and just combine. It's, it's awesome. It is amazing. So we got that good. Back over. Now we're going to start wrapping. heard him say that that smells good and I probably might be coming down here. Be back in a second. Right. That big button right there. Okay, we got our ribs wrapped. Uh, we got all of our goodness on there. We're coming out here to smoke her. My temp dropped just a little bit, so I just put a, another stick of wood on there. We're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. We're gonna take our ribs, meat side down. I meant to say that earlier. When I flipped it over, uh, you want the wrapping loose part to be on top with the meat down. The way all that stuff we put in there gets coated on the meat. Not the bones, the meat. You want the good stuff. Okay? So we got them on there. Uh, we got a new stick of wood on there. So what I'm going to do now is go inside. I'm going to grab my chicken. I'm going to place those on there because they're going to take, like I said, about an hour and a half uh, to cook as well. Alright guys, we're going to do uh, my barbecue sauce. I told you it was really easy. Um, what you're going to need is two cups of barbecue sauce. I use Sweet Bay Rays as my base to get my stuff started. So we'll go ahead and add two cups into our little saucepan here. Two cups. 
cups are in my saucepan. Uh, let me lower this down a little bit so we can see what's going on. There we go. So we got two cups of that. Uh, we're going to use one quarter cup of dark brown sugar. Throw that in there. And then uh, we're going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Then, drop everything. Uh, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of the rest of these ingredients. So we got half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. teaspoon of smoked paprika. Boom. And if you want to omit this one, you can. A lot of people don't like it. This doesn't give it really that much spice. Just gives it a little ding and it's perfect. Uh, half a teaspoon crushed red pepper flake. So now what we're going to do it's real simple. We're just going to put it on a low heat. Let's stir this up. Get it nice. See. Oh, I forgot one thing. Hold on. Yep, almost forgot. One tablespoon. Almost forgot. And you just see me check my phone because I've got all the notes on my phone. I can't remember anything these days, so uh, yeah, so I have to write it down. So we're just gonna give it a little stir and then we're just gonna set it on our simmer here to get just warmed up. It doesn't have to be piping hot just not cold when we uh, go and put it on our ribs and chicken. So put that on the back eye, not the front eye where my phone is at. Let's put it back on the back eye and just put it down on a low to simmer heat and uh, we'll let that go from there. So we're going to go back out and check on the ribs and I'll see what the chicken's doing. It is... 30 minutes since I put everything on, so or back onto the grill. So let's go check it out, see what's going on out there. Stick around. Alrighty, uh, it's right at three o'clock now, so that means we've been doing this for about four hours now. It's been on smoker for four hours. So what I want to do now is wada wada wada, a couple of beers, we're starting to slur a little bit. Uh, we're going to check our ribs for 10 minutes. So we're going to open this bad boy up. We're hovering about 160. I put a piece of wood on a few minutes ago. Uh, let me get my thermal oh, bottle cap. Uh, let me get my pen out. And we're just going to probe around in there. We'll look at temperature a little bit. And uh, I already know it's probably going to be up to temperature. But I want to look at, you know, how tender this bad boy is. So, let me bring you over. And uh, you can see our chickens are really good. I flipped it uh, on our last check. I didn't show you that. I actually forgot to. But I went ahead and flipped the chicken over just so you know it'll, the heat will get on the bottom time to get a good crust all the way around. So yeah, oh, these are feeling very soft. Um, let me just stick the in there. Oh, that's going through like butter. Check our temperature here. And we are up to 100 and well, almost well, 203 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull these off and I'm going to let them rest because our chicken, it's at, a, it's at 153 degrees right now. So we're going to let it cook for another 30 minutes. It's probably going to need it, but I'm going to take these off and let them rest so that juice and stuff will soak back up inside of those ribs. And uh, then we'll bring them back out and put our glaze on it and all that good stuff. So uh, talk to you in a few. All right, we're let these ribs rest for 30 minutes. Chicken's just about done outside. 
So uh, we're going to unwrap these guys and we're going to go take them back outside, put them back on the smoker, and we're going to glaze them with my barbecue sauce I showed you how to make earlier. And we're going to let them cook for about another 30 minutes until they get nice and caramelized and almost like a good candy, you know? So uh, let's go ahead and see how these bad boys are looking as we slowly open these up. Be careful, it's still going to be super hot after 30 minutes. And it looks great. Look at those bad boys. Let's flip it over so we can see that meat side. And see, and this is why we turn it up. See that nice candy glaze on there? We turn it upside down so all that brown sugar and that honey, all that gets inside of there. Let's move this one over here to the cutting board so we can take it outside. And be careful because this will make one heck of a mess if you're not careful. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that steam coming off there. And these guys are, I've got to be careful because this one's about to fall apart. Yeah, look at it. Now let's flip it over. See, we're already splitting right there. Ooh, that's hot, baby. Mm. All right, well, let's uh, take it outside. We're going to glaze them up and let them do their thing for about another 30 minutes or so, and we can chow down. All right, as we get back out here, you hear my, my timer. So we are done. It got up to 172 degrees. Let's let that open up. The chicken is done. So we can go ahead and pull that probe out of there. And we're just gonna move these without breaking them. We've got a lot of bend in there. And we made it. So we're gonna put those guys wipe my hands off and we got our little barbecue sauce that we made earlier and we're going to start over here on the chicken get a nice little coating all over it just like that don't want to go too heavy make sure it's nice and even because you really want that to caramelize on there like i said almost like a candy nice and sticky And we're going to flip these guys over. And we're going to do the other side. Boom, just like that. Now the same thing with the ribs. Just uh, pour the little thing right down the rack here. Almost. Get that good and coated. We don't do the underside because really there's no meat down there. It's mostly bone, so we just want to really just pay close attention to all this on the top side. Get a nice, even coating. Like I said, you don't want to get it too soupy. Just like that. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. Well, that's it. We're going to shut this up. Come back and check on it in about 30 to 45 minutes. All right. So it's right at 4 o'clock now. So we've been smoking in general for about five hours now. Uh, I think it's time for everything to come off. It's looking really good. As you can see. Ribs are nice and glazed up. We're gonna pull these off, take them inside, let them kind of cool down for a little bit before we eat, uh, maybe about 15, 20 minutes, and then it'll be ready for us to chow down on these bad boys. So let's start by this rib right here. Oh my goodness, she's gonna fall apart on me. Look at that. Ooh, mama. Looks good. Same thing with these little chickens. We're gonna put them guys on here. There's one. There's two. Let's see if we can get that other one on there. Oh, he's a slippery guy. And there's number three.
everything's nice and glazed. Let's take it inside and we'll see you in a few minutes to uh, cut into one and have us a little sample. Stay tuned. All right, uh, it's been 30 minutes. We let them rest, so now we're going to cut into it, give a little taste test, see how everything goes. We're just going to, I guess we'll just cut right here in the middle of this guy. Sauce is delish. Pants don't fall apart on me. Look at that. Nice smoke ring all the way around. It's falling off the bone. Let's just do a little bite. Now I'm not competition style, so it's not gonna be a clean bite. This thing's gonna fall apart in your mouth. That's what a home cook wants. Oh man. Mmm! Mmm! That's some good stuff. That's money. One more bite. Shane's dying to have a bite of it. That's delicious. <laughs> right? Let's get a little cut in this chicken, see what we're dealing with here. We'll just cut right down the middle of that bad boy, too. falling apart look at that oh I have some I have some barbecue chicken I know oh well dog's gonna get a bite I know Stephen wants some chicken he's a chicken man mm. Oh, mm. <laughs> mm. I'm good. all right well there you have it folks thanks for stopping by and watching the hunter family again maybe we'll get to cook some more for you down you know, down the road, down in the past, up in the past, whatever. <laughs> but uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, hope to catch you guys next time.